That's it. Well, hang on, I'm working on my camera. Can you guys hear me? So you can hear uh, yeah, you. Brett, we can hear you, but you're right. yeah, as you know, your screen is black. Um, all right, your, your total black face. <laughs> yeah, all right, smile. Let's see if we can see you. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can't get my Logitech camera to come on. Uh oh, so I'll just have to use the regular one. About that. Wow, yeah, that's a light filter, something. Hmm, what's going on there, Erickson? A little pinkish. Do you, have a, do you have a neon sign for Kenny Rogers Roasters out in front of your window? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can turn my light. On? Hey, there's there's Miss Tracy's already a Miss Tracy sighting. I'll be I'll be out of the way in a minute. Oh no. Oh, so it doesn't matter as long as yeah. I I I've been down. reading Doug's tweets. He's probably a, a full, you know. At least one handler on him right now. Uh, oh, he, Bingo's out there. Huh? He's got Bingo with him right yeah. now. So. Oh, yeah. Sure, but Bingo. he's been drinking since we loaded the car this morning, and he has had an edible. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, uh, we've, we've been in. I've I've been on Twitter most of the day. Yeah, so you've seen football, what's happening. Uh, uh, interacting with them somewhat. I've been trying to stay social, knowing I would be uh, uh, hanging with you guys today. Uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty cool filter for Halloween. You like that right now? Yeah, a cult movie. Spooky a couple of yeah. scary stories or Same some in ghoulie. intros to a murder. Shaylee's dressed <laughs> up like a bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, I get that, <laughs> and I get um, I get Johnny Rotten, and I also get uh, uh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> Never to my face. Well, no, the Johnny yeah, Rotten yeah. Yeah, just said it to your face. Well, sort of. I'm way over here. Yeah. <laughs> no, Freddy, Freddy Krueger's. No, that's a he, he had a oh, different no. stripe. He's red and green. I don't know. I know he had an identifiable stripes. Figure how to work this light. Issues with Maybe. Erickson. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 20 minutes not doing shit either. Unlike unlike uh, at the factory, we don't have 17 hours for you to get the light. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I get this Erickson's used to having a robot I'm just to leave set it like up this camera. This is what it's going to be. This is how I live. Computer, turn, turn on the light. Mm. Sometimes mm. you got to go with what filters on you, man. Yeah. It's kind of a, just a kind of a warm kind of thing, you know? Uh-huh. It's, it's like money. if you were choosing a filter, if you had a picture you kind of like, but your face is ugly or your skin tone is off, and then you go through working. about four or five filters, you're like Nottingham or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. I don't know. Is that the name that of the I filter like? that I'm using, Nottingham? Well, I don't know. There's like a bunch of different ones. Yeah, so you just That may not word. be one. <laughs> I just made up. A, I may, uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you're, yeah. And yet, like a filter would be cool or warm. Right. right. Yeah, but they have it. Vintage. They have, yeah, yeah, vintage. Mine has some descriptive ones. Not a town with a soccer team that's <laughs> relegated. Hey, they're talking. Well, I don't know if they're talking. And I, I don't, yeah, oh, now I don't even yeah, want to say. Chad's got an issue. Chad, was I that a fire? I saw it suggested. <laughs> I saw it suggested that they uh, fell do right that into my whiskey. NFL. Is Chad Chad drinking? What if, hey, what if I um, what if I uh, bow out for a second and restart with my Logitech camera? I think it'll plugged work. in. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't plugged in when I turned it on. That's why it didn't come on. That that is a, an issue that uh, seems to fix some of these Windows machines when they're logging yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll wait. We'll wait right here for you. We'll, I'll be right back. We'll, we'll just move around some of the furniture. You're mopping up expensive fucking whiskey with expensive Kleenex. Oh, oh man. Yeah, someday that'll be cost. You won't be able to do that shit. You'll soak up the whiskey with your face. But you won't have Kleenex. <laughs> it's making it real easy since I'm such a fucking pig and I've thrown all of my beer caps for the past several months into a pile right here instead of throwing them away. So now wow. it's filled in the midst of all of those. That's a, well, I don't know. I used to uh, like keep things around, but then I was like, it's just evidence, but you don't have to worry about that.
You're not a sneak like, drinker. Chad's in his recording bunker. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Can, well, Chad's a man. Wants. Chad's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a fucking, you know, I'm a rodent. I hide uh, shit. Not anymore though, because I'm fucking man of the unit. <clears throat> There's no overthrow in my government here. Is it getting cold up where you're at, Andy? Yeah, a little bit. You look a little Plus, bundled. Well, I did. I just felt, yeah, I've been cold today. You are hunched <clears> over. <throat> Half the time your mouth. Well, is I have a heater. Right. Heater and a heater me. out there. Mm-hmm. Heat dish. One of them. Costco purchases makes all kinds. If you just move it a little bit, it <clears> makes <throat> a bunch of noise. <clears throat> Last night, about one in the morning, the power went off here, and. uh after about a half an hour, the, the uh, it's getting cooler here. But after about a half an hour, when my fans are off, it starts to fucking warm up. Yeah. And uh, so I started looking around on Facebook to see if anybody knew what was going on. And there were other people going, hey, it's getting colder here. Uh, uh, and my heat is off. And I'm going, Motherfuckers have their heat on here already. My fa I'm getting hot because my fans are off. Fuck. Just because yeah. I'm fat. I don't know. Well, some people are fucking. I'm uh, I'm a li I'm more like the elderly class now that I had cancer. Uh, well, you're up to... north. Fuck. I mean, but I'm here. It's right. a different story. It's Pacific Northwest and uh, and and the Arizona desert is yeah. a. Mm -hmm. Vastly yeah, different yeah, yeah, ecosystems there. Yeah, we started getting rain and shit. And it, it, I don't know, it instantly, to me, it just it turns cold. <clears throat> but so yeah, have you that. found that the, the after going through chemo and, and cancer and everything, that uh, your body's responding differently to the, to the hot and the cold? Well, I saying? got definitely got the neuroplasty, which makes your fingers and toes feel like you're, it feels like you're been in the snow for an hour. You know, mm -hmm. like you're pulling off cold gloves. So I'm already, yeah, I think I am definitely. And do we know that's the, the word neuroplasty? I think so. Neuroplasty. Yeah. Okay. I, I might be butchering the, uh, but that's, that's it. Yeah. Sounds a, right. You can get it from just being a drunk too. Uh, I mean, you can get it for a lot of things, but it's basically dead, dead cells and shit. Is it like, like frostbite? That's like what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It feels like, uh, you know, I should warm up and uh, it go away, but it's with me all the time. There he is. Look at that, everyone. Well, that's a more realistic hey. filter. Clean. Yeah. yeah, this is that's the harsh Ericsson, that's the Ericsson, light of reality. This is what three days at Altercation Fest looks like. Looks yeah. Like, it it shit like it. every night. Just seeing the pictures, I uh, looked like a, a, a fine year up there at yeah, it was no fun. I had a really had a really good time. Our good friend Henry Phillips was here. Yeah, and, Henry uh, always Henry Phillips just adds an element of happiness to anything. Absolutely correct. He's just smiling and drinking a beer all the time. I yeah. like it. I also don't understand how Henry Phillips can drink as much beer as he drinks at in you know in his now you know 40s and he still has no beer gut whatsoever. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm yeah, transitioning kind of... from large to extra large shirts because <laughs> my fat gut just keeps getting bigger. Nothing to be able to do about it. And Henry just looks. You know what you do? You jump ahead two sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Go double X and you're going like, fuck, man, I got to. And, yeah, and really. then sometimes you'll pick up that XL and put it on and go, hey, it fits. I must be losing weight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nope. And then you end up like me with a bunch of XL shirts in your closet going, wait, what the fuck happened to me? Yeah. 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 I remember when I was sad that I had XLs. <laughs> I, I have a couple of medium shirts and I don't know why I keep them. It's just like medium. You know? Oh my well, God. Well, I mean, maybe, well, I mean, you know, I could get uh, a re, what do they call out when you're not in remission? I could get cancer again and get <laughs> small. I could be extra small again. <laughs> God, damn. I keep all my XLs in case I get cancer. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's smart. Yeah. No matter what size of t-shirt you print, there's always, there's always, you know, it's not like a, 
well there's not like if you went extra extra small there'd be some midget going no that's <laughs> that's not gonna fit me no matter of, what no matter what you have yeah size -wise, yeah if you had 6l will there'd be a 7l you the special you don't make a shirt with three armholes how fucking <laughs> dare you like, uh, i'm sorry what what do you want everyone wants something and you just go yeah. look we have mediums larges and that's it fuck and face. 4x yeah, yeah <laughs> but i mean if you just add the two things you try to give them a, a, a like a variety and that's uh -huh. not enough just right don't even try just oh, yeah forget it that's yeah. it never try to make anyone happy it's pointless uh, and it won't work anyway never underestimate the size of your audience as a person <laughs> we could modify our inventory or you could modify yourself to not be such a fat piece of shit try that <laughs> or a fatter piece of shit like i said we still have some of these four yeah, xls well, i can't get rid of it's just like you know there's like <laughs> samoans are just bigger people should they True. be called medium large it's like a, a an extra large uh you know, um, that would be a like a small or a medium on them. And actually, a big Paul and you know, you know, yeah, the yeah, big, yeah. Like, big fucking dudes. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm always like uh, make hey, peace with them when they're partying a near Pacific me. Islander has never worn a medium in his life, right? <laughs> well, they, yeah, they go shirtless a lot of times. Oh, oh, onesie. <laughs> oh my god, my connection. I, I, I'm sorry to say, I'm out of triple XLs. Double XL. I'm out of. I, I'm barely in the t-shirt business. I'm. I need to find a, a, a anorexic dancer group, and say I got outfits for you. <laughs> so all you got left are the smalls. Smalls and mediums. Yeah, like <laughs> medium will work on a uh, like a you know a real petite uh, like what is Doug's uh, the Indi Indian Indian men. Oh, yeah. the, uh, uh -huh. women of men so uh, i could fit them easily uh but yeah i'm out of you know i uh, i, I should have just went triple x's four x's whatever obscene number you think what? there can't possibly be what a person what if it into this go fuck yeah that's what i'm doing instead of a small i don't have small people who like me have you considered <laughs> splitting them down the middle and sewing them together yeah and Selling them that way yeah. right right like yeah those uh yeah, yeah parents, if you want to if you want a large just get a medium and a small oh. mm -hmm. it's like the pizza. frankenstein shirts yeah <laughs> here's here i got a triple x shirt it's three mediums some assembly required <laughs> i'll print up instructions there's your three armholes yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll write I'll, I'll write semi-vague <laughs> directions that will leave you fucking mad <laughs> <laughs> Triple uh, extra large Andy, Frankenstein. It's three mediums and a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm assuming that the uh, the website is still good. Naturejack.com. I think so. Um, do we know that? <laughs> is it something I think it's 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 getting ready to close out oh, and go to, to where all my other websites have gone. I think they're held up in a cloud somewhere. <laughs> uh, I know the. Uh, I think it was AndyAndrews.com. Uh, uh, that was Japanese it, porn. Uh, Japanese. Well, you could get some panties there, uh, and then, and then uh, I think AndyAndrus.net was like a Sherpa outfit, outfits and stuff. Uh, so I'm Sherpa, just, uh, like people leading, guiding people up. Yeah, where, yeah, where Sherpas can go get out. You know, they gotta go. They don't go to REI. <laughs> if you want, oh, he's, he's right. Want, yak pants, made you know. <laughs> <laughs> These are 100 percent yak 100 percent yak pants that's what they wear and then they take all your shit up there they're a little bit lighter uh -huh. <laughs> go to andyandrus.net and, and shop for your favorite sherpa <laughs> i think it's national sherpa appreciation day it should be yeah, every day Andy, it's so weird because your website uh well not your website andyandrus.net goes to this thing i can't even tell what language but uh <gasps> There is a quote, <laughs> and it's from you, <laughs> is it? but it's in some weird language. I don't know. What it <laughs> but it says, you know, it has the little dash and then Andy Andrus. I'm like, oh, yeah. 
Did he say if that? You don't, if you don't do anything, it's like little elves from different parts of the world take over. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, this is crazy. They Did you yeah, put they it go up to like a, you? Let me see if I can yeah. get, get this on. They go yeah. to abandoned websites like hobos go to abandoned malls like, <laughs> to try to find a little corner to fix up. <laughs> I, I just went to what should be an abandoned mall, the Coos, Coos Bay. I went back to uh, see my brothers, uh, and then I went to the Coos Bay Mall, which I had. Mm -hmm. I know it's fallen into different days or whatever, but, you know, back in the day. Hey, you know, you what can... was, there, was there something that you said was at the Coos Bay Mall that you used to go to, or there was... Oh, where well, grandma got that's attacked where grandma, by that tiger. Yes. Yeah, grandma got attacked. That's all. Boy, there's no, you know, you can't even get a tiger or an old woman in there now. <laughs> uh, that's just like walking through there and remembering all these once thriving businesses that are gone. And uh, there's like a Ross's dress for less is the anchor of mm -hmm. it. But then I think maybe I just was too excitable as a kid. You know, maybe I just I should have saw it how it the future of it. It's just like, OK, there's a fuck. I can get a members only jacket and some bell bottom pants or whatever I was into. Uh, uh, but it's like the same. By shit. the way, by the way, what a what a fine visual of a members only jacket. <laughs> young Andrus, Maybe with even his uh, straw hat and those bell bottoms. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh-huh. And I, yeah, I used to walk around there and I, I would be interested in what was going on. There were chicks there. I was the only one in the mall. Like if I wanted, if I uh, took out a machine gun and emptied a couple of clips in there, I don't think I would have been able to hit a person. <laughs> wouldn't have you know, qualified as a mass I, shooting because yeah, there the, wouldn't have been enough people there. No, I would have had to wait for one. I could have got one and then there wouldn't have, it would have been tough to find anyone else. One. That's where I went there kind of well, I went to get coffee and also to visit the crime scene of my uh, what was my girlfriend and seventh grade's daughter. Anyway, uh, she, there was a uh, I think I talked about this. My you had a girlfriend uh, in seventh grade who had a daughter. She's no, got a daughter now. OK, she, oh, okay. her daughter now just did. <laughs> she just got sentenced to 10 years for running over her uh, guy twice. Yeah. But they weren't married, and then she got married since then. Uh, I was anxious to like uh, go see where that was, and it was like, man, there used to be a cool, sh like back in the day, it, there would have been a lot of witnesses to this uh, running over a guy twice. But I bet nobody even really noticed it in that corner of the parking lot. There's like a, a little pet food place, and that's it. <laughs> uh, but man, I used to go. I used I used to go get. Uh, I'd get my shoes from my my gentleman caller in California, but then I would, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, uh, I didn't go visit every time I needed new shoes. So mm -hmm. the shoes would start wearing out and uh, a little bit, and then I would, I would fuck them up. And then I would take them back to this place. I forget the name of like, uh, this shoe store would take everything back all the time. So I just kept re up and get new shoes. Oh, like a foot locker or something. It was like a, it was, I forget. It was like a, a shoe company back in the day, but it's no longer around like a, a it was not birches something like birches though but i remember like i mean i was having all these like fucking weird memories of scamming places my old man used to hate going to pony village because he he could we could have got him out of the out of the car and he could have just sat in the pony village mall and been uptight uh but the i can only remember the only time he went in there his grandma got mauled by the tiger so maybe he stayed away for good reason but uh uh he'd just sit out in the car and, and then yeah my mom would go into the mall and my mom was just like she didn't fucking care about him sitting out in the car she wanted to shop and get some pants or whatever and uh so she would just be gone and then my dad would sit, he'd sit out there and complain and then he'd go i think she went to the toilet in the hogsader which i still don't really understand <laughs> as a thing because it's like you there's know no, I've never heard anybody else say that, but whenever, my, like, <laughs> if I would ask my grandpa, hey, where's go. grandma? He'd say, went to shit in a hogsader. And I've never heard anybody else say that. I've never thought about it till right now. So, well, yeah, you're, yes, that, that's, it, it's a thing. Holy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> so my dad used to say that all the time and I didn't know what it meant, but now I understand it's a shame family situ <laughs> situation. <laughs> Probably meant more to the Shank family. <laughs> well, that was my mom's side, but yeah. Uh huh. They were weirdos. Uh huh. What could she that mean? Went to the toilet what in a hog later. Possibly mean. 
Did, no did you? Because the outhouse is out by the. Explanation or? A, the, yeah. Well, the outhouse oh, yeah, is out yeah. by the, the, you know, the, the pig sty or whatever. And you just oh, maybe it's dark out. In a perfect for it world, to be a thing. In a perfect world, the pig sty is right next to. They share a wall. Yeah, why not just the, combine it? it yeah. Sort of. From an olfactory sense, that makes it, that's a good idea. Went to shit well, and the hogs ate her. Yeah. <laughs> My dad was, uh, you know, he should, exp well, I don't know, I guess it's probably better he didn't explain that sort of thing. <laughs> I, he'd be an excellent podcast guest. Like, why did you get so mad about washing my pants? You know? <laughs> I did my kid's laundry never once that I fucking throw a, a fit about it. It's just uh, my dad would get so I think up. we worked that out, though, when we were talking well, about Well, the pants would throw the wash machine out of balance and, would then unbalance have, he, the load. and then i would and then my dad sat low in his chair and he'd have to lift himself up so he was literally yeah. wrestling my wet yeah. pants out of the laundry machine <laughs> but okay so i get it that man that's a little upsetting your dad was ahead of his time because if he had <laughs> one of those new front loading washing machines fucking problem solved right there or the washer dryer yeah. combo that it's the, the same machine. You only load it once and unload it once. He'd always he'd get mad what? at the, the wind snapping the newspaper from him, but he'd sit out yeah. and read the paper the same time every day. It's like, <laughs> dude, the wind well, kicks it, up. It doesn't, it's not the wind every day. Well, oh, the it's wind, noon. It's gonna in get some windy. places, the wind kicks up in the afternoon or whatever. Well, that's like we'd get a, a wind that would come over from the coast and it would rattle my dad's paper and then he would get fucking pissed off about it. <laughs> dude, it happens, you know. Like I'll be here tomorrow. Like sitting, I'll be here you're tomorrow. Like sitting in the same spot with the sun in your face every day. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be sitting here tomorrow, same place. When you get upset about this again, <laughs> that was very familiar. Uh, pony oh, Billy. Right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, pony. There's a, a book, Geek Love. And yeah, I read that. And there was a, a, a I think, a, like Flipper Baby the hit, hit the. There was something that happened at a Coos Bay shopping mall, and that was the only one. That uh, man, that place was so magical, man. You could go, you know, hang out all day there, and you leave your old man in the car with the window slightly down. <laughs> <laughs> no one has to come along and break a window out. And That's the thing, too. So we figured out there's a reason why he hated doing wash and hated going to the mall. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. He didn't like. I thought having, it was safer for like, tigers in the car. Yeah, he, yeah. He didn't like kids, and he had five of them, and he taught school. So it's like he, he would be somebody you'd want to talk to about Random. some of these contradictions. <laughs> Did you like it? Which when I, uh, I and and why was Jeff your favorite? Would be a question I have for him. It's like yeah, of all of them, you <laughs> <laughs> choose any of them. He choose choose. <clears throat> really? yeah should have been you andy you'd have been my favorite well it was uh i think it was i mean the, it was had to do with the age that jeff was at because jeff was more useful to him in, a, mm -hmm. in his early wheelchair yeah. years mm -hmm. the older older boys caught caught wind of trouble and left home mm -hmm. got the fuck out of there and left jeff kind of holding the thing so and i was you know like you want me to catch your shit really i mean <laughs> i can't even, you know. I'm in a tent of hell. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. <laughs> so You're more yeah, of a Jeff mascot was, than you are a yeah. helper. So I answer. So. I can answer all my dad's questions. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was just, you know, Jeff was probably better at putting the glue around his penis. <laughs> I didn't take to yeah, it. Yeah, that's something you want to lose focus on mid task, you know? Yeah. Well, you're, probably... you're, you're of course referring to the adhesive for the external catheter. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we still, we, like and, and we're, we're, just, we're rounded back to this, and we still never answered that uh, his arms weren't disabled. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. He could have, I mean, you know. That's a, maybe Seems that's like the Andy question. just figured that out too. Well, he, I mean, he must yeah, been, you know what? You're right. He must, <laughs> I think we're. Uh, yeah, I think he must have been able to see it anyway. <laughs> I think we glossed over it last time for a reason. Let's go again. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, that changes a lot. 
<laughs> oh my god. So yeah, so I went to see the brothers. <laughs> well the mall is dead, huh, Andy. Yeah, yeah, oh. I walk, but yeah, it's like things like uh well and I went to my hometown too and that ever walking around Coquille, it seems like it's uh I can't it's not possibly what I you know. It it seems like a, a model a model of the town I lived in. But yeah. it's funny, like you know, like Coquille had their uh, they were worried about Antifa attacking them. Like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and there was businesses, there was a couple of businesses that had signs that uh, admired or you know, thank th thank you to the heroes who st stood up and whatever. And uh, almost everything's out of business there. Like if, <laughs> if Antifa had showed up, they probably would have done more business. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bought a couple of coffees. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like one there's one place and it's a big gathering. It's the it's a bakery. And I went in and I got a, a cookie and then I got a there was a pumpkin piece of pumpkin cheesecake there. Mm -hmm. And and I and the guy goes, How much how much is it? Like the guy, you know, like every place had if there was a business they needed help. Uh, so this is like probably a new hire, but he asked me what it was. <laughs> it explains maybe why some of the businesses have gone. Yeah, out of asking yeah. I mean, customers. you can see. Um, well, I think it's zero, it. sir. Yeah, well, I think it's actually uh, buy two, give two away, or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like I thought back in the day when Lizard worked there, the Lizard Man or whatever we called him, Lizard. He uh, he worked at the Fraser's Bakery, and I thought he 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 was connected to the outfit, so he was a dick, but he was like you know part of the family. Now, this kid, he's got no chance. He'll never even be like Lizard. <laughs> don't know. He don't. He didn't. He he asked me. You know, like he could mm -hmm. like. Fuck, man what the fuck do you do here how, how long a shift are you here for man i'll tell you <laughs> i'll tell you how to do your job just from an ob observer's point of view you know you got like six fucking things in a in a in a fucking thing here it's like <laughs> know what those cost <laughs> it's the quiche there's the cheesecake it's not a lot you know <laughs> Antifa, Antifa showed up and they got all the rolls and all that other <laughs> shit. Are you, I, I was like, uh, if I wanted to do commerce there, I, I don't think. I mean, I could, you could get groceries, but I don't think you could buy anything new there. Like it's all like antique places, so mm -hmm. I don't, I don't thrift think stores. You get, yeah, you can't get like a new thing. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's like, it's like rock. It's like seeing your. Uh, an old drunk uncle that you didn't like hit rock bottom. Be like, fuck, <laughs> fuck this place. It deserves this shit. And it's like really sad. <laughs> I, rem I remember back in the day, they were going to open up a youth youth place. So just the teenagers could go hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Fat lot. I get that. Did them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The model, uh, the model racetrack place. What were you thinking? You fucking idiot. It's not enough people here to even molest a hobbyist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frazier's. Uh, <clears throat> and everything is like, okay, so where I was the big place back in the day was J.C. Penney's, where I went in with a group of uh, ne'er-do-wells with cap guns and attempted to, well, we just excited the place. Uh, and they don't, you know, back then he didn't think it was serious anyway. So we were able to sh discharge our weapons and leave the place without any police involvement. But now it's a dojo. So I thought about going to Coquille and joining. The, the, it's got to be like the, you know, the only dojo in town. And it's where I used to go to JC Penney's and where I used to get my pixie pinup pictures. There you go. <laughs> <Jay>. <laughs> <laughs> <Look> adorable. <laughs> your, your picture, you blotchy face fucking loser. <laughs> it's, a <scam. laughs> it's, it's a fucking Holding scam. a football with some fake fall <laughs> leaves next to you. <laughs> yep. Did you call yeah. it a pixie pinup picture? Pixie pinup's what my mom used to call it, but I, I don't doubt whether she had it wrong. <clears throat> But that might yeah, have been the outfit that, that was. I think she just, your mom's calling you a fairy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what I, uh, you know, 
a high collar and <laughs> not shit. wrong yeah, yeah. she yeah. dressed me up like a yeah she uh she yeah she it seems to, like a, a little bit like one of those situations of you know we've had five children and none of them have been girls so i'm just gonna <laughs> treat this youngest one like yeah. a girl sometimes yep. oh yeah well she did and that photographed like, well I yeah, think yeah, cute yeah. pictures, man. <laughs> it's funny, like, uh, like we did those pictures every year, and uh, like she didn't see. I mean, she would cut my hair, and uh, like she never got any better at it. And, uh, like, why? You know, <laughs> I don't understand why the timing would be like she'd do the haircut and then get the picture. It seemed like do the haircut, wait a few weeks, <laughs> repair, repair a few of those things. Yeah, she's just she's, like you know, she was bad at it. I I do better cutting my own hair than she ever did cutting any of her kids' hair. I don't know what her problem was. <laughs> you guys seem like if the timing would have been a little bit different, the Andrists definitely would have had a floby. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes yeah. perfect uh, economic sense. Uh huh. Five oh, kids, yeah. five boys. Yeah. Yeah, floby. Yeah, family. I mean, I pretty much got. Uh, I mean, that's when I uh, I did oh, the travel. Bowl. Once I started getting new clothes, it was a, it was a, you know, it's like when they discover oil in Africa. It's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Up until when I had new clothes, I was unmolested. And I had, uh, just wear whatever you know shit that Jeff did. And I, you know, I get something down from like Larry. I would even I wore Larry's clothes. Yeah. The concept of new clothes i didn't you know I, I guess i never i mean i guess i i understood that but i never really thought about that before the concept of new clothes to you before then would have just been fucking completely foreign man yeah i get a i get like yeah it would be like just by me you know i'd have to be like growing pushing out a pair of shoes and then we go and then i get upside down nikes or whatever from uh, the, you know. oh, the fakes yeah and they had the upside down yeah, yeah, yeah the stripe. upside down swish we talked about that before yeah, yeah. just like uh I've never yeah, heard of them yeah your your friends have more money than you <laughs> shoes <laughs> so you were like you were probably really old when you actually had a pair of socks that would stay up because you well, were getting we got, all the old stuff think socks we get is it uh, you know you get christmas family gift. pack socks yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I get uh, usually what I get was a pack of socks and, a, and then a box of lifesavers, one of them lifesavers. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then some, yeah, maybe a shirt or something. I don't know. I remember getting mainly just like, you know, a few big gems and shit, and I was happy. Do they still make lifesavers? I used to like oh, yeah. lifesavers. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen them around. Those, you can still, they still get those sell books, those books Christmas that you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think eight or ten packs. Uh, yeah, you can do a throwback Christmas holiday have... holiday book with you know. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I want some. <laughs> yeah, they. I don't know why they fell out of favor with America, but lifesavers. Yeah, they're the perfect little candy, long lasting mm -hmm. and delicious. What's but keeping you, us from getting? Somehow they're not still available. They've got. They can he gets those those holiday Money? books for Christmas? I used to really eat those grape ones. I haven't checked to see if they've even had them for like 20 years, but now all of a sudden. What I mean, I haven't seen them around. I mm -hmm. don't see them on the uh, checkout aisle. It's like so. I forgot about popsicles until I was in the hospital. <laughs> like, God damn it. Dude. I fucking really dig these things, and I haven't had a single one since I left there. But, yeah, yeah, I think the, they point of sale, the point of sale at the, uh, at the checkout stand, Erickson, like you said, yeah, I think that's for more of the newer stuff or the, the hot properties. Lifesavers is it just yeah, yeah, and then they classic. were gummy too. Mm -hmm. Classic, you're right. My my grandma May used to feed uh oh I think they were yeah, lifesavers mint ones, and she'd feed them to her her she had a wiener dog at back in the day. It was crooked, had a fucked up back, and uh, but it would eat those lifesavers. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she'd throw them down and think this can't be this can't be a thing. <laughs> dog died when it was eight the dog <laughs> had old. fresh Made breath when it died <laughs> <clears throat> yeah peanuts that was a fine dog my peanuts. i went so yeah i went to see my brother uh my brother david was fading because he had chemotherapy but he had a pill form and it uh -huh. fucked him up like he had every side effect i had all at once times 10 and uh, oh. some other shit 
and had to be he, so i went to go see larry because larry's dog died and i went to go see larry and then uh david check got checked into the hospital so i got to go do a two well i got to go see him in the hospital which was a bummer uh but he's he's out now good uh, and uh yeah he told me so his his room this was uh, i'll change his name to gary gary was in, in the er in a room and gary had had uh, uh, trouble with shitting himself a bunch or shitting and his room was uh, the most fucking tough hang i've ever had <laughs> was hanging about five to ten fifteen minutes in that room with with that smell <laughs> and then uh and then uh, I found out that later, Larry made the track. Because when I was at Larry's, I told him, oh, yeah, Dave checked in the hospital there. And then I went to go see Dave and then found out Larry made it, which uh, was, you know, amazing. And then Larry went in there and hung out there and didn't say anything about the smell at all. I'm sure it didn't bother him. <laughs> oh, here's something funny as Larry was. Uh, so I was hanging out at Larry's place and his dogs, you know, he's moping about the dog, which is of course but his you know he had a bag of garbage blocking the door which i mean you know it's a little bit of uh, hoarding going he, on in he this just small had a trailer. dog die right yeah his pug okay. dog maybe he should so, add that part right his, he so it's yeah his okay. he's in mourning so yeah. he's the garbage is piling up and david's not uh hasn't been there to help clean it up uh so it was like like that and then i i, I saw he had a big bunch of things from bymart just a bunch of papers and shit and i go what's the deal and they do a lucky number giveaway on tuesday uh -huh. and larry religiously hits that lucky number tuesday and then he was showing me some of his prizes that uh, he couldn't really find uh any but he found some he goes <laughs> i won this and it was for breeze <laughs> which uh, <laughs> he, he gave the room a couple of sprays <laughs> how fucking wonderful is that <laughs> yeah do you think he really wanted or do you think they just gave him some febreze right. with a guy like, no no, no right. put that down give him that you, no you sir are a winner they give him trash bags the next week <laughs> <laughs> toenail <laughs> trimmers yeah, yeah. Just, soap yeah <laughs> Yeah, so uh, everybody's back to their. Uh, well, Larry needs a new dog. How does Larry get around? That's well, nobody really wants to know. <laughs> he uh, he was with this uh, this tweaker broad at my uh, nephew's wedding. This was a few years ago, and uh, and and he was Larry was stumbling around. And he was pretty buzzed up there, and uh, and. And then uh, he got behind the wheel and drove off. And we, we, oh, we're like, we, I mean, I think people were, we, he was sitting there talking for a long time at the wheel, you know, it's like, he ain't driving, you know, thinking that she'll take, anyway, he just drove off. We're like, wow, that's pretty egregious as a group to see that guy drive off. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, he, he gets where he's going <laughs> somehow. Right. He's been got like, a long one, time. He's got, he's got like one, one eye that works. Uh, I doubt he's what you'd call licensed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Like, uh, so where Dave lives is like above the highway and it's this very steep hill and it's a one way you can only go uphill. But uh, when he's seen Larry blast down that hill, and go uh, right across the highway, like, you know, without stopping down at the bottom of the thing, which is, you'd assume you'd hit something, but uh, it's like how he gets places. Wait, so he went the wrong way down the hill. Down, yeah, down the hill. And then blew like, through the door. stop at the bottom of the and hill. Then, yeah, well, it's a real steep hill, so it'd probably be hard to. You know, to some it. of us are just really lucky for most of our lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you haven't been hit by Larry. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that too, right? Well, it's like uh, that Olive uh, uh, Popeye cartoon where Olive's stepping off of things, and and just another yeah. beam shows up. That's you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how long you can just do whatever the fuck you want, and you just it's you know, basically, there's hardly ever somebody there to see you. It's basically <laughs> green lights. It's <laughs> it, baby. You know, it's like don't, don't let it bother you. You know, people <clears throat> will bring you down if you're you know if you're an outlaw that's what mm -hmm. they want to do and he kind of 
I think he was, I think he was more like outlaw country than an outlaw, but he was, uh, you know, definitely, uh, he, he bent a few rules along the way. Now he's not dead yet, just his dog is, but I figure <laughs> it won't be long. <laughs> Her eating the medications probably uh, the only thing that saved him. <clears throat> eating some of it. Uh, well, but, uh, cheers to all the Andrus boys. Yeah. It's good yeah. to see you all still uh, out there doing your thing. <clears throat> Whatever that thing is. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, man. When those yeah. things you do. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. So, Erickson, how was the uh, festival? It was know? good. I, I had a really good time. Thanks to JT. Alterca- altercation. Putting that on again. Uh, just over the weekend, or is it like yeah. Wednesday through? It's Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. So I only went down there on Friday and Saturday because I that was enough for me, and I had to be up early. Um, but I had a blast. Henry Phillips was great, and uh, Mike McRae, who is an Austin comic, who is one of the best impressionists alive. Yeah. God, he was so funny. Really? And a lot of other great... Uh, great comics and it was just a good time uh my new, <coughs> one of my new best friends mike judge was there and uh uh-huh. that was good that was a good time he lives in austin again now so he uh-huh. came out to watch his friend henry and by uh virtue of that was forced to watch me as well awesome. so there mike judge yeah. very cool uh-huh. yeah so it was very it was, glass it was, was there cool. too yeah who, who? who was there pod glass Todd Glass was uh, the surprise pop-in headliner on Wednesday. Uh, James Adomian was on the, uh, who's also one of the best impressionists alive, interestingly enough, coincidentally. Uh, Jackie Cation, Eddie Pepitone, Mishka Shubali. It was quite the lineup of comedians. (laughs) And troubadours. (laughs) <laughs> yeah jt puts on a hell of a show it was fun man next year we'll uh maybe we'll do uh issues with andy there next year right who was that would be cool very cool yeah. we do i had a blast the last time i was over <clears throat> yeah yeah there were some uh issues with andy uh, uh fans there too i spoke to a couple of uh this one guy brad i hung out with brad cheers brad i know you're watching i don't remember brad's last name but we had a good time i got pretty drunk both nights it's like i truly now it really yeah. is i've really rounded the corner i cannot like the second day is is hard you know mm-hmm. like t- to go out of the house two nights in a row and consume alcohol is really a, a big ask <laughs> honestly I've, yeah. I've cut so far back on my drinking it's like I'm, I'm, it's almost well, non-existent i get i get completely I, I totally understand the stanhope transition to more day drinking you know like i don't mind you get up you have a bloody mary or maybe a mimosa maybe the coffee with a little baileys in it you know and you just get a little bit of a buzz going and then you take a nap you know and then it's done you have dinner you get up later, you have dinner, you watch a movie, and you go to bed. That's that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got to go out of the house two nights in a row and be amongst people, and it was I I had an absolute blast. You do shows both nights or just one? Night? I did not. I just did a show on Friday. My friend uh, Jeff Bailey came down. He's a comic from Peoria. He used to play at the jukebox with me all the time, and he stayed here. Him and his girlfriend Morgan. So he was on the show with Henry and I. And he's fantastic, so it was nice to get him out of the, you know, seventh circle of hell that he's been in with my, our good friend Dan Conlon for all yeah. these years. <laughs> I've been meaning to send Dan some money to help him out. Yeah, do that. Pandemic. <laughs> send him your avail. What I did is I collected the nickels in a sock. <laughs> I hope to give, give it to him in person. <laughs> That might be too uh, modern a uh, conveyance of uh, <laughs> money transacting for him. He's even older school than that. <laughs> fucking sock full of nickels. I, so I take it, it uh, uh, do box is still open? It's still open, I think. The, uh, it's really, I'm sure everyone's very, yeah. very depressed. I know my friend Rob quit working there, the bartender. 
but everyone's been very depressed because like uh, i don't know sometime i don't even remember when it was maybe it was before the pandemic after i can't remember but the strip club next door burned down or it burned enough that it's no longer a strip club and now it's just a shell of a building that's all burnt out inside probably filling with rats and you know things and gross and there he is there's our buddy and uh you know that was dan's favorite thing about owning the company yeah yeah that there was a strip club it, uh, floor, so to I him it was really... like a connected business i mean there could have been a tunnel that ran to the two uh for him <laughs> it seemed like there was because he would go into his office and then you wouldn't see him for a long time and turns out he was over at the strip club so some people like really like dance <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i love dan conlon by the way and i love the jukebox it's just a bit of a you know post-traumatic stress that place puts me through anxiety like thinking about it but it's still humming along so if you're in uh, central illinois and you're looking for a good time on a friday or saturday night <laughs> Hop on over to Farmington Road and cross well, the railroad the day, tracks down in the bottoms, the bottomlands. And when you hear the roar of the stock car engines from the dirt track, you'll know you're right there close to the comedy club. When you smell the you you, burnt out wood shell of the strip <laughs> club, you'll know to take a right <laughs> to the parking lot. You could have done all all of them. Like you could go Saturday, catch a race or two. Mm -hmm. Uh catch a comedy show and then go see you know some some dancing mm -hmm. all in the same you know without having to leave the parking lot it really was quite the little hill <coughs> triangle mm -hmm. like there should have been a chicken fighting rink nearby. <laughs> i'm sure some people would left out and they're like oh and then they're like can i get a, a chicken fighting xl or 5xl like no man, yeah no, you know there probably XL. was because there was also behind the jukebox uh, was a junkyard. And then on the other side of the junkyard is the place called the Raber uh, Meat Packing. So it was like this you know, <coughs> giant, you know, butcher shop kind of place that had been there forever. So who knows what was really going on back there? There could have been all mm -hmm. kinds of sketchy shit going on. It's like there's oh, a portal where you summon like a white trash demon. <laughs> yeah. You're there. Yeah, a demon wearing a Dale Earnhardt t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. And the, roll and the of ones in his pocket. <laughs> <and a> fucking <laughs> Carrying a chicken. <laughs> Maybe that would be the thing to turn Coquille's economy around as they open a... a jukebox comedy club and uh franchise well, yeah and you get a franchise there's, going. there's a racetrack nearby so i don't think that we could compete with that but uh man coquille needs a strip club they've never had one and they made such a fuss about deep throat i don't i guess that i don't know how they'd react it's been a while uh, <laughs> i think times are different now but uh mm -hmm. yeah i even creeped around my <clears throat> my old house or not in the house but around it uh Wait, there was now, nobody what, what do you mean creeped around well i mean i just looked in the front windows and you were on the property on, i was on the porch <laughs> yes i i didn't go technically past anywhere where it said no trespassing but i was just looking around because like you know interested in what what's still there and all uh was it uh, was uh much different yeah it's it's all like if my family had money it was, it was like one of the it's probably one of the nicer uh, historic homes in Coquille. It's mm -hmm. like ten of them, and it's like one of those. But ours was wow. it was in in my day. It was you know rats running in through the walls and shit, and uh, Larry hordes breaking <laughs> out. Ground uh, <clears throat> and then it was built for my grandma threw some money at us to make it easier for my dad. And that's when we built all the we fucked up shit with building the. <clears throat> you know like building a shower that stuck like tearing down historic shit to put in a, a a cement shower was one of them but uh we didn't up we didn't do any upgrades while we were there and the, mm -hmm. the people who got it after that they got they put a so, tile roof on it and fixed it up so you went up and you looked in the front window but were you concerned that there might be people inside of the house no because i rang the doorbell i rang the doorbell okay I'm prepared to okay, say okay, you know okay. here on behalf of the church of jehovah 
or whatever. <laughs> I was going to say, did you have a spiel that you were going to lay down if someone answered? I had my cover. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff I wanted to tell you that's different about the Bible. Would have been a trip remember. if they would have been home and then it would have turned out they were like, no, because I would have just serial I, killers I would have told or something. Them, and... I would have told them that, hey, uh, fucking Marino's an asshole, isn't he? He's still the neighbor. Is, uh, uh, he's, he was there when I was a young youngster. And I'd say that and then they'd go, oh, you, you know, and then they'd know I was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Which know, one was your I real go, cover story? Now I'm curious. So I, I go, I go. The, before Marinos lived there, there was two old ladies that lived there, and they lived to be a hundred years old. And they used to jerk off under their windows with Hustler magazines they found. <laughs> Wait, why under their windows? And what, that's not well, a good cover it, story. It wasn't necessarily under their well. It was under. It was under their house. <laughs> in their basement. Technically, kind of technically, like you know, not uh, uh, inside the building. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I, don't, I don't get it. Under the I don't see how you can be under the house. You don't want to get your magazines wet, bro. Oh, under the, you're just. It's just under a roof, uh, but uh, under the, like, you, a, like a carport type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> this house was full, I guess. So you'd take the Hustler magazines to the neighbor's carport and masturbate in their. No, well, bedroom. that's where I'd find them. They would, they were, there was a dry, uh, a road. People, I guess, they'd get them at Bill's place. Would be my guess. Bill's place. You get your magazines, oh, okay. and then you go the wank bar. off, wank oh. off over. You know, I don't know. There's a hundred spots in Tokyo you could wank off. You could have witnesses if you wanted. You could have no witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to wait. You'd have to like work to get witnesses. Or become a school teacher. I like right. that Andy creates backstories for his jerk off magazines that he found. <laughs> well, they were like ditch ditchers, you know. I was a, like a, a fourth or fifth grader, and I would find these magazines on my paper route. I'd find them in different areas, but there was one area near my place where there was a common dumping ground. It was like if there was like you know like a hook. If it was a hooker, you'd throw her in a dumpster or something. <laughs> I lived by that dumpster. For magazines <laughs> so I, that's you don't why think I, it, like it was a it was a magnet for for yeah. unwanted ditch magazines it could maybe it was just the same guy the yeah. fishing pile well, who was watching for kids oh right ultimately butch fields Fear took pile <laughs> butch fields took over my whole pile of them he moved in to the the grand the old lady's place rented a place down there and he took ended up with all those <laughs> not, i was really bummed as it because I, I was a young he was like you know he, i couldn't prove it and i had nobody to tell who am i going to tell the old <laughs> centurions <laughs> those are you know you don't understand what this guy's you know he took them he's lying about it and now <laughs> i ain't got them <laughs> motherfucker <clears throat> oh, shit. I mean, that, as you, for I'm, for you know pre pre having a job that, that those hustlers that was kid currency oh my god yeah. mm -hmm. incredible yeah the stuff i've learned in that you know it's like pieced together a lot of uh, situations that i <laughs> couldn't quite figure out <laughs> yeah there was some good information in there too hustler used and there's still yeah hustler used to do asshole of the month mm -hmm. and it would be a you know they would just drag somebody like pre-troll pre-trolling on the internet right you know? Right now we know what would uh, be like way over the top trolling. I, uh, I really did read Hustler magazine for the articles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I got uh, Stug Stanhope was interviewed. You know, they interview uh, mm -hmm. politicians and people of the day. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> correct. I think Porno I, Mags I, as a kid built a whole cottage industry of forts. The only reason uh -huh. we built forts was to have a place <laughs> to hide your found porno magazines mm -hmm. yeah so yeah the, if you go so like any the, house that has a thing where you can reach up and then you know false ceiling mm -hmm. yeah it's the high cupboard yeah <clears throat> that's where i ditched uh that's where me and jeff hit all the centerfolds we ripped off from david and larry <clears throat> we borrow we just took them but what you know wasn't they weren't ours now i realize you know thinking about what butch fields did to me I did the same thing to Dave and Larry. I'm sorry. You took the one thing that they could identify as missing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Satterfall. Yeah. You can't. 
if they're missing another page unless they're reading an article they would it literally know. opens to that page when you just open the thing up really it was a real brass <laughs> And then any like you know I, yeah I guess uh, you know they're they're both uh, surviving at the moment but if I got to confess to stuff I would definitely say that that was Jeff's uh, Jeff was the instigator at all that sh- I think that's yet. fair older brothers are always the ones yeah, with Jeff, the ideas a, younger brothers just, just help with the uh, plan you know I didn't go yeah hey Jeff you know you want to go uh, get some centerfolds and lay on them <laughs> so it's like, you know. I had no, I have no, no idea. You don't start with that. Yeah, <laughs> paper. <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit. Catch grandma when she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did Jeff ever? Um, was was he like hip to that with your grandma before you were before you were the one doing it? What's that? that Ripping, from him? Or getting like, stuff like, from her stuff in her shopping cart and like making her. No, I mean, it. I was her, I was her one who, uh, like my, you know, he ended up having to do more with my dad when I was just going to say, Jeff wasn't around dad his his laundry. But she would like, a, it was, a, she would always say I was her favorite in front of anybody. Yeah, yeah I say cool. that one didn't sound like just a grandma thing. That sounded like a Andy thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she liked, she liked hanging out with me. Yeah. And I drive her places and stuff, and you know, we talk shit. Talk <laughs> you shit were eleven at the other time. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> no, I mean, we know that like Andy got Andy got thrown to the wolves by his brother. Uh, right, right. As uh, the, the thing didn't work out with the gentleman, so then he suggested you, or they picked <laughs> you next without it stopping. And I mean, yeah, yeah. Young, I understand, but it's like there's other things where you think you would be past the 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 knowledge from your at least jeff right he's closest to your age mm-hmm. you had nothing you were just swimming with sharks and trying to mm-hmm. fucking... <laughs> yeah i did I, I mean he paid me back because one time he got uh he got beat up and i took off and ran i told you guys about <laughs> that uh, but uh you know it's like my instinct was to protect myself and and uh, i thought he'd do the same yeah it's like you know I'm not, I didn't think we we're going to slug it out. Uh, and anyway, he didn't slug it out so much as he got punched maybe once or twice and knocked down his ice cream cone. He never <laughs> let, let me forget that shit. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if there was a little more fraternity between the brothers, you might have stayed mm-hmm. and helped stove in some kid's head. Yeah. Or beating up your brother. Instead, you, yeah, you did what I they taught you. I always admired that one. Like, you know. It's usually older brothers will have maybe more of a parental or whatever instinct to protect a younger brother, but it's always, you know, I wasn't the younger one who was going to like, you know, turn the tide. Uh, I definitely see uh, from like my kids and then now if the grandkids, especially like the younger, the youngest ones, uh, they witness shit and they maybe it's pretty much common knowledge, but those little fuckers are street smart from an early age right away like they they don't fuck around right like they get to witness everybody else's mistakes and every, they learn fast mm-hmm. yeah yeah the internet's a hell of a drug <laughs> yeah I, man oh you see the uh the the woman who walked in front of the cyclist thing i, I reposted it i think <laughs> yeah but it was it was like unbelievable if this lady it, this lady is uh, at a bike race it's at the finish line uh-huh. and there's a guy heading the stills uh on that were posted under it are great because there's a there's one photo where the guy knows he's but he's hitting her and his fucking race is over and then and the phone phone goes up and shit and she just walks the last second walks across uh the race course and hits the front runner and uh, they both hit their heads on the cement uh, it's a beautiful i mean sad <laughs> hold on i got, I got it here a beautiful yeah, watch this. It's a yeah we've short. seen it it's really incredible uh-huh but like, anyone what would she be was that thinking clueless. like what was uh-huh. she possibly thinking about uh, oh man why didn't she have like a have... sign or something too she yeah she didn't even seem like yeah like uh you know the one guy cuts in front and then he's over there yeah here you go she make damn bitches on the island. Twenty thousand damn bitches going private. Mm. 
she make it proud. Oh, 20,000 damn bitches on the island. Isn't that the one I thought it was? Gonna pop it. Mm, she make it proud. Is that it? So does that, I wonder if the guy who gets second place, or I mean, I, I would still give, I would give him first place because he was gonna, he was at the finish line. But technically, the guy who got second could say, "Yeah, man, it's to the finish line." That's right. <clears throat> he finished there. I finished here. First place yeah. money. There's, I wonder. There might, you know, there could have been money. Uh, definitely a, a trophy on the line, <laughs> and, and they both in. Like, uh, I think she got treated at the scene and he had to go, he had like a head wound, uh, possible. He hit it straight down on his yeah, head. Yeah, it's, it's like the, that, there's a, that part of the helmet that really doesn't protect a whole lot and his head went right down on the shit. <clears throat> hey lady, I hope you were going to get a cool picture <laughs> or whatever. She used to TikTok or maybe. But that's uh, some, that's know. some crazy level like of... Can old lady that wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Yeah, she was kind of, she was looking at her phone. Well, she saw that paying. there was a, another, probably her friend who crossed right before her. Mm -hmm. You know, she probably had, that's her Andy Andrus friend who crosses against the fucking signal. She was And then yeah. that, and that crossing pulled her out into the fucking <laughs> line of fire. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. There's a lady that crosses right before her too. It gets all the way to the other side. Mm -hmm. But that's but, incredible. Yeah, what a what a fucking head head bashing. Not as good as uh, Anthony Perkins last week. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Did you find some uh, horror horror on the road, Shaley? Yeah. Um, someone was well. Like I said, it's a crapshoot because different hotels have different um, cable systems. Some of them are all oh, yeah, fucked yeah. up me tv or we tv or tv land sometimes they'll have it but turner classic movies uh just started a couple of days ago uh started um a bunch of halloween stuff so yeah i got i got a bunch turner is good yeah <clears throat> i said they've like a i was looking for stuff and they had like the purge movies under horror like those aren't horror movies are they you see it's the like purges? psychological horror i mean it's, there's a yeah, lot of graphic there's a graphic shit in there. If people too. were trying to shoot you, you'd be I'll horrified. You. I've never yeah, seen Yeah, I mean, that. what do you want? What why doesn't it that doesn't that qualify as a horror movie to you? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say it does. I mean, the birds is kind of a horror movie too. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Yeah, I like the birds. <laughs> <laughs> well, why wouldn't you consider no, there's no dogs in it? <laughs> there's there's dogs and the birds. <laughs> but sure more importantly, the for the birds, there's birds you, and the birds, which is yeah, but it's not called exactly. birds and then how dog and then dog reaction videos. <laughs> why wouldn't purge be a, a why why don't you think I don't, it's classified I, I as a horror movie? The purge. I want to see that uh the making of that movie, the birds. All right, we'll, I we'll, should look we'll circle back to this later, I guess. What's that, Shaley? I think Sorry. because to Andy, that's more of like a fantasy dream. The gun you know? shooting, the purge, right? Isn't that the one? No, where I, don't, I, don't, that I don't like those. One day a year, like you everything's legal. Well, those those movies kill and chase people, and well, what would you? What category would you put it in? I'll ask that because I would. I mean, I I'm, I'm, I would say or actor thank uh, you political Sorry. science <laughs> <laughs> thriller it's just it's a futuristic looking futuristic i mean yeah. can't you see them doing that like uh the government just says look you know let's have them just shoot it out and shit and then it works <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that every you know i could see that falling in with the right government Sure. Rogan would even vote for something like that. <laughs> I can see Rogan being like, yeah, know, he'd come out yeah. on top of something like that. I would imagine he's a pretty good shot. Yeah. I don't think I'd do well in a, a I'd know. vote for it. Back in <sighs> yeah. Day, I, I, I would was... have to definitely, that'd be a hangover day for me. I'd stay in and yeah. You know, back in the day, I don't even I know what, what it is. I, I don't, and I'd vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're that's a classic American voter yeah, right there. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> I, I at me. work on Friday, we were I was talking to this kid. It's probably in, I don't know, maybe his maybe mid-20s, driving a forklift, and we somehow started talking about politics, and he was talking about he, you know, he wants Trump back, you know, because that was, shit was great when Trump was president. 
And then I was like, we were like, me and another guy were giving him a hard time about it. And then he goes, yeah, oh, I get it. Wait, you guys, you guys probably voted for that Biven. <clears throat> he thought his name was Biven with a V. Ah. <laughs> so he thought the president was. Ah. And I was like, you're not registered to vote, are you? He's like, nah, fuck no. I'm like, all right, kid. Works mm -hmm. out. You probably voted for that He's Biven. operating a forklift? Biden. It's not difficult to operate a forklift, Shaley. It's really, it's um, incredibly easy. I've and driven very, a forklift. It's, yeah. it's incredibly dangerous. And it's dangerous, but... It's headed It you, doesn't well, know the name of the president. Well, but look... That's what, you that's can, what people you, who don't know the name of the president should be doing, Shaley. Right, it's that's right. exactly my point. It's, you can, yes. There's like, it, it's, it can be dangerous, but there's like, you know, three or four knobs and a couple and, of pedals and a steering wheel and after a while that's your life you know you got and, it you and, and when he rolls one over on himself they'll fix it all up they'll sweep it up and <laughs> another guy who thinks it's Biden will come over and he'll do it <laughs> yeah it's, now he'll think it's borvin it's he yeah it's a circle of life you know, like, it's fine yeah <laughs> i mean what else is he gonna do and and it'll be a guy who lives underneath the bridge in a tent <laughs> and they'll put it on the news and everybody will think it's fucking fantastic yeah it's all part of president borvin's inflation yes. reduction act <laughs> <laughs> oh i love it uh, jesus Christ! it is I funny guess. though because it was like for me like you always see those man on the street interviews or you know they're talking to somebody and you're amazed at how little they know about whatever they're being asked about and i've never written organically had a conversation with someone yeah. who didn't know who the name of the president of the united states like it was wow man i i envy you in a way angelo you start, <laughs> mm -hmm. you start looking around you know, am i on one yeah, of those shows fuck, I'm no. fucking comedy <laughs> central right now mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's uh those uh man on the uh midway or whatever interviews at the at the rallies and shit it's like yeah 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 like that you know yep. you can turn you can i mean but uh, it's uh, eventually it would be like a intervention where it's like those people must be kind of savvy enough to figure out that these are kind of uh gonna make fun of us but it, it, it doesn't seem to be catching on yet because they still like to get oh no people like a camera in their face uh-huh weird outfits and uh yeah it, it must just it must be like going to comic-con and uh, getting a, a picture with somebody because uh, they're just all eager to say what they got to say and you go wow that's fucking embarrassingly stupid and uh, they just go to the next week's rally instead of do the same shit but mm -hmm. well it fucking works for them they're ha you know they don't seem that happy but i mean if they were happy it'd be like you know what a cool existence you just follow around a guy who's never gonna be able to run for president again <laughs> see you know, shit in his pants and whatever and you fucking uh you know you sell buy and sell posters of him uh with his head on rocky and shit <laughs> it's, it's a weird you know <clears throat> i dig yeah. it i mean you know if it were uh you know it could be uh like uh different uh, anybody that's uh who's the guy that we all uh love as an actor uh nicholas cage nicholas a, cage. A lady who has the banners of nicholas cage and shit and like maybe that's her whole thing and that would be cool you know she went to wherever they were showing you know nicholas cage shows or whatever and did that shit you know <laughs> <clears throat> just say not trump <laughs> trump's yeah. yeah good god man you know that's the worst fucking <clears throat> i can't even like i try to think of a country western band or something that would be such such shitty ear rape that you wouldn't want to even have it you know you plug your ears if you were hearing it that's sort of what it seems like his public speaking it's like uh, you know he's not yeah. he's not necessarily uh you know, there funny. have to be the moments during the trump speech that they don't really show in the clips where you're kind of like standing there like you know looking yeah. at your watch and thinking ah oh, fuck where do we park it's gonna be a long way why you know what am i doing here this was a mistake there's, 
and then there's somebody who goes, I got a set list, man. (laughs) Yeah. Then they start chanting locker up and everyone feels better about themselves. uh, There was a, there was a really good documentary uh, on vice. The guy who was uh, doing those interviews and not necessarily the uh, Trump, but at different places he would go. And he was really good about like, letting them talk and and them not thinking he was it was a goof because he played it straight it was called all gas no breaks oh yeah yeah i know that kid you heard of that yeah all gas no break and he ended up breaking yeah. all gas no breaks and i think it's uh-huh. on youtube i'm sure it is. Uh-huh. So yeah it's a youtube uh, thing yeah and he got he ended up having a falling out with uh with vice and all that stuff but he was fucking hilarious and he goes to like like the psychedelic festival and he's just talking to like just just wicked psycho like freaked out <laughs> on so much acid and he's asking him questions and stuff because it's <laughs> not only yeah. not only the political rallies but he does other ones too and he, he, had, yeah. like, he had a van he was driving around and he's wearing this you know shitty thrift store suit and the suit and the equipment just let people they just fucking start talking yeah he the millennials love him yeah yeah, my son turned me on to that kid. So a little us like olds him. are just learning about it now. Yeah. I just heard of the, you know, the whole Nathan Felder thing from you guys. <laughs> I feel like I was a, you know, he's been around a while like that. Nathan Fielder? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah, the, the yeah. show he had Nathan for you. ran. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just catching on. I'm one of the oldest of the old. <laughs> Chad is uh, Chad is our hipster. I mean, not not hipster, but he know. I mean, you know, Chad's got a wide array of stuff he listens to. <laughs> you think I so? I, I, I haven't do. seen most Based of on what? Stuff. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be hassled. That was like right then. Talk about old. That w- sounded like <laughs> Spicoli answering Mr. Hand in class. Like I don't know, man. And then he writes it up on the board. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put this up here and give you credit on every time. <laughs> Will I pass this class, Mr. Hand? Gee, Mr. I Spicoli, don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Wouldn't that be our time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there he is. Okay, there, there it is. is. I knew I had one. I uh, I preloaded all my, I cleaned, I got, I cleaned my pipes meticulously this morning. I cleaned all of four of them. So I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Perfect. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That, uh, I thought that was Biden. Know. He does. It's Biven. 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 <laughs> Mr. Biven. <laughs> Ray Walston. Sir Wayne. That's probably, I haven't seen that movie in a while. It's probably time to rewatch that one. It's one that shows up every once in a while. I, it's yeah. my favorite of all time. It's, it's like a, it's what uh, it's like Shawshank that you you could watch it, but mm-hmm. it's on regular cable or, and it chops up and goes to commercial and shit. And uh, you you missed the Phoebe Kate scene. Yeah, yeah, and if you watch the uh, edited mm-hmm. for TV version, yeah. you get a bunch of scenes that weren't in the movie because yeah. they have to add a bunch of stuff to make it long enough to justify it as yeah. a movie because they took so much other shit out of it. What did they call him instead of little prick? Little, <laughs> yeah, little penis maybe they. I think uh, they just blur out. They blur, bleep yeah. it out, and then they blur uh, out the blur it on his yeah the side yeah. of the car. Yeah, you know just for the Phoebe Cates, you'd go, no, I'm not going to watch this on TV. You know, I'm going to watch it for real. That's, <laughs> the that movie I, I, I thought I had always, I, I thought I had seen it, but I figured out I didn't because I, for some reason I thought Sarah Michelle Gellar was in the movie Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which wasn't. Oh, you wanted case. her? No. He was in the TV thing, which everyone knew it from that. I never saw Buffy the Vampire Slayer in, in the movie the original one and the and I immediately recognized the guy from uh dazed and confused yeah uh, dazed and confused or what's what's the what you keep telling me to watch and i finally yeah, dazed and confused but i don't think i remember 
Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I don't know who that is you're talking about. Who it was the it was one of the it. one of the guys that were paddling with uh, with, with Cole the, Hauser. Yeah, the guy, guy with the really big eyebrows. Hmm. I don't know. Find out. <laughs> but it was it was interesting because I, I don't know anything about Days and Confused, and I, I didn't even know who was in this Buffy. And and the first person I see on there is that guy who I haven't seen in in anything else since then. And I'm, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I, that's one thing that I ran across uh, for a Halloween movie that that works. But it's been a while. Christy Swanson was the girl. yes. I have seen that. All right. Um. Oh, Sasha Jensen. That's the dude who wore the uh, like the overalls. The overalls, Don yeah, yeah. Dawson. Yeah, oh, there you go. I know. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Nice one, Shaley. That's a good catch. I don't even <laughs> like. What does he do now? Where, where did he go in? Anything after that, Sasha Jensen? It doesn't seem like much happened for Sasha after yeah. he did Buffy and Dazed. That was about it. There's a couple of people that that was kind of all they did. Linkletter would use oh, weird yeah. actors, you know, sometimes <laughs> people from the town. He's definitely a character that uh, reminded me of people from my my town. Don Dawson. Yeah, I mean, almost everybody in that movie. At some level there. he has the great scene where he tells the freshman kid about playing it cool with the girl when he's like mm -hmm. look if she wants to give you a ride out to the party just tell her no i'll get my own ride but maybe i'll see you out there <laughs> classic you know? and the kid's like what he's like i know it sounds crazy but it'll work <laughs> <laughs> there we go and it does there he is yeah he does have big eyebrows. I've never noticed that before. Now I won't ever be able to do that. Dude, look at those things, man. Yep. And his for yeah, it's even more pronounced than Buffy. Yeah, he's got a kind of a Cro Magnon kind of fucking look going on. It's almost like it should be a uh Encino man. Yeah. Kind of thing. Like he inspired the Geico commercials. <laughs> man, maybe that's what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Were those? Yeah, that was Geico that had the caveman. Uh, yeah. And now they got the lizard. Made it into a, a fucking yeah. sitcom. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 That made it into a thing. That happened. Didn't last long. Didn't no, I don't think it even. Like, it only made a couple episodes. I remember that. It was crazy. People are probably in the pilot while they're shooting. They're going, man, this ain't gonna work. Just, come on, come on, let's, let's try it. Let's just give it, a, give, give it the okay man try, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think the lizard. Did, well, no, I mean, you know, uh, they did a whole thing with uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, Ringo uh, it was a lizard. I was gonna say the lizard wouldn't have much better odds, but actually, the Geico lizard would make a better movie. And the cave people as a sitcom. <laughs> Are you talking about the what was the name of that movie? Rank Ranko Rango. or something like that? Rango, yeah. Rango. Yeah. Well, the Geico lizard is a you know. Yeah. But you she, could make it a, a he could do like a James Bidney, a James. You no, know, he's Bond. not an actor. <laughs> the <lizard laughs> <out the> parts. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Is that the rich family that wow? The, the caveman. <laughs> that cast. Wow, how did that not succeed? It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, they, I think they, this happened a lot more in the 80s when there was a lot more coke flow. Imagine, yeah. I mean, just imagine the, the honestly, the quality, funny. Like, like, I think about the fact that Brendan Walsh isn't a household name in comedy, right? All the funny ass ideas that guy's had. Yeah. And he's probably pitched to TV people a hundred oh. hilarious ideas for TV oh, shows. Man. And they're making a fucking TV yeah. show out the of green lighting cave commercial. Like, An extended commercial. Right. 
Yeah. Just God, imagine yeah. all of the rights and all the money to lawyers that had to be done to secure the rights to wrangle an idea away from an insurance company <laughs> put on TV <laughs> and have no connect. They probably couldn't have any connections because of the money. For, uh, it's fucking crazy. You're going to have like to lose the, he- lose the have a nice day shirt. Okay, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's really pretty over trademark. So, so what you're saying, Shaley, is that you would like to see the making of the caveman sitcom documentary, right? Like, like the offer, oh, the man. ten episode yeah, yeah. Netflix totally. series uh-huh. about the, the making of the caveman. The, show. The, the guy on the end is an actor that I've seen in things, but he looks like he committed suicide immediately after he agreed to do this. He like, looks like yeah. This is it. This is it. I I'm That's, I'm sorry. Um, I did this, and now Who's I have this? to kill that myself. That ain't McClure, is it? Huh? That, that ain't the McClure from Humanoids, is it? He's somebody. Yeah, yes. yeah that guy's also, been in a bunch of things. He usually yeah. plays the dad principal. Yeah. He also he's like another like he's, Troy McClure. He also looks like he's actively trying to get out of that picture. Out of, yeah, yeah, he you hung. know, like If you'd have taken it another 10 seconds later, he would have been gone. He, he hanged himself with that bolo tie in the shitter immediately after that picture was taken. Yeah. He hadn't heard from his agent in a long time, and then he gets his call. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it turns out to be. You what was the name of that show, show. Shaley? Do you does it say there? Which one? The Caveman. The Geico. Caveman. It was just called Cave, of course. It was. Oh, oh, geez. And by the way, starring Nick Kroll. Oh my God! Is that Nick Kroll in the middle? Nick Kroll, Magnet. Huh? Looks like him. Yeah, I'm trying to find out which character he plays. Well, is he, that's is him he in old? the middle. I can see it I right now. So, yeah. You can tell the guy with the kind of aqua colored right. shirt. That's Nick does, Kroll. Oh does anybody God. actually know the premise of this show? And if not, let's just make up premises. I think it, I think they're just here for a I little while before we look it like, up. If it's like their <laughs> commercials, they were always insulted that people, uh, you know, yeah, uh, they asked them if they were cavemen. Yeah, people treated them like dicks, but they were actually kind of enlightened, and they would play tennis and drink wine and shit like that, and they didn't understand why people didn't. They were more sophisticated than what yeah. we were excited for. John Hurd? John Hurd Jr. Oh, okay. Wow. That's who that guy is. Yeah. He was in Big. He was in Home Alone. He was the dad in Home Alone. Oh, right. He was the dad oh, in Home yeah, Alone. He... That's right. There it is. Ah, he looks so... He's probably thinking about that while he was getting... Yeah, out he looks so sad to be in the... He's standing, like you said, he's standing in that picture in a way that he can be easily cropped out of Yeah, it. please, make, yeah. It, make the do the work. <laughs> How many episodes did it shoot? 13, it one season. Wow, the so there's Chicago probably... Tribune listed it as one of the 10 worst TV shows ever <laughs> be worth uh, watching. the new york post uh andy yeah, buckman, <laughs> buckman uh declared the show extinct on arrival <laughs> well, that's without even watching it that's they know that <laughs> fucking nick kroll that's hilarious oh yeah me. do you guys ever watch the uh, nick kroll's comedy central show did a couple seasons of that sketch show is really really good I've seen oh, yeah a little bit God damn, it's funny. I don't even remember anymore. I can't remember. Yeah, with uh, with uh, John Mulaney. Too much. John Mulaney and Jenny Slate. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Yeah, Kroll. Kroll show. The Kroll show. See. And then he's he's uh, uh, he's good in Big Mouth too. The the animated series. Yeah, that was good for the first season, and then it just got bad. Uh, Nick Kroll is a very funny guy. He's also super rich. Comes from, I think his dad's like a almost a billionaire. That that doesn't make him a billionaire. It kind of does, Shaley. I mean, we don't know what their relationship is like. He's rich. He's got money. <clears throat> I'm not seeing who his dad is. Look how he's dressed in that picture. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> he's pretty uh, He's pretty cool with it. 
I mean, you know, he, I'm sure he wasn't he, he wasn't sweating whether that show made right. another season. Yep. He knew he'd be all right. All right. So Whereas Jules, those other caveman. It's, it's the only worried. thing that makes sense why he did that show. <laughs> I agree with Erickson. He's rich. He's rich. <laughs> so Jules Kroll, which is uh, Nick Kroll's dad, uh, is an American businessman whose company Kroll Inc. is credited with founding the modern corporate investigations industry in 1972. In 2004, Kroll Inc. was sold to Marsh and McLennan companies for $1.9 billion. Yeah, see? So he is a billionaire. He's got dough. <laughs> yeah, Nick's doing all right. Very funny, though. I like Nick Very Cole. funny. Yeah, that was in addition to his uh, incredible and success, right? <laughs> when, when, when the caveman money was added to the pile. Right. Yes, that's not still including 1. the Still $1.9 billion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. takes the sting away for sure. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about it the other day. Uh, we don't watch any. I remember growing up, it was like three channels, PBS. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fuck around on the UHF every once in a while and get something grainy. I don't remember the last time I followed anything on regular TV, like ABC, NBC, CBS. Other than like I watched F1 today on uh -huh. I watched that. CBS. Yep, right down the street from me. Yeah, couldn't you hear it from your place? You guys are pretty close to the airport. No, we couldn't hear it. But I also didn't go outside today. So it's possible you could have heard it. Yeah. Why, was it hot there? <laughs> no. He just didn't he go lives outside. Near, he lives near over. where the track is. It was, it was, I'd done two consecutive nights of alcohol. Uh-huh. No, just... licking your wounds it's oh good you got a, a dog now you can <laughs> lay there and lick your yeah she likes to cuddle out. so uh -huh. she'll cuddle with me and we can just lay around and watch the great british baking show so it's all good it was a good wait, race that's what f it was i i that's... watched the whole thing it was very exciting wait f1 is it oh it's like nascar racing no that's oh. formula one Formula One. Okay, Formula One. That's okay. the race thing that something. they, that's what they document on that Netflix show, Drive to Survive. It's mm -hmm. like 20, it's like the top level of racing in the world. But there are no Americans involved, so America doesn't give a fuck, really. I was going to watch it when Shaley texted, but I actually been watching football this year, so I watch football all day. Yeah. The race was better than any of the games today, so in my uh, The Packers game was uh, right down to the wire today. Did the Packers lose? Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> God, that always makes me so happy. They, they lost uh, attempting a Hail Mary uh, flip yeah. flop it down the field. Nice. Oh, Good. Yeah, yeah, that Fuck them. And, yeah. Smear the queer play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they smeared uh, Aaron Rodgers, oddly enough. Yeah. And, so, yeah, yeah. So they yeah. did. Yes. <laughs> mission accomplished and i it's fun watching i don't have a team and i don't bet so uh i i kind of just root for good plays i guess uh -huh. so uh it's fun to watch both teams yeah. I, I, well, I don't betting know on, betting on games <laughs> will turn you bitter against the, the whole yeah. thing no i'm not i'm not jaded about it yet or anything mm -hmm. it's i'm just barely getting back into it I'm just, I'm like, I'm like a woman watching football right now. I used to watch it and then I, uh, you know, so yeah. Are you like, I like the team with the blue uniform. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. It was a fumble. <laughs> oh, like, well, who got it? Who cares? I don't know. Look, now, it was just now, a do they have a lot of pads in front or is that just yeah. their dicks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he we hit him hard. Look at that one. Look. I don't know. It's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good we'll for see. you. Okay. It'll wear off soon. Yeah, it's, it's gonna say. I have it bad. It'll 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 wear off real soon. I won't give a fuck about. Oh it. yeah, you're on your new meds that maybe is increasing your interest. I think in that's what health. it is. It's the It's the new meds that are making the apathy, you know, kind of go away. So it's probably one of those side effects they can't even get to tell you. Like, it's funny. It's not even a psych med. It's a, a, a migraine med. 
Uh-huh. Really? But it has psych side effects. So I'll take it. And does it, does it get rid of the migraines? No. Or would it be- <laughs> <laughs> but I like football. But I like yeah. football. football. And, That's and, the weird side effect. And it makes beer taste like a... Uh, uh, incredibly bubbly Perrier, so I don't really want to drink beer anymore. That's so, interesting. Uh, my alcohol consumption has uh, gone down. My beer consumption has gone down. I'm sipping whiskey. No. So it makes you sensitive to bubbles? Uh, no, I just I don't want beer. It makes things taste different. Uh, yeah. Like beer and soda taste different. I don't want sodas. Uh, I'm not hungry as much. I don't really want to eat as much. Well, that's good. Uh, those are so no you're, side wait a minute. So it's got it's helping you get off of alcohol. It's helping you with your diet. It's making yes. you less empathetic. Yes. Can we just all have some of this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, I know, told we'll... I told Jenny. I go. It's like Adderall, but not as, oh, as speedy. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, Fuck yeah! I'll, I'll take it. everything to the bring everything to the desert, and we'll just dump it into the blender. <laughs> 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 it's an apathetic uh uh energetic smoothie yeah with ketamine side effects <laughs> whatever those are I, i've been reading that that's the new cure-all yeah ketamine. that's what uh that's what our friend lynn was doing uh ketamine therapy for a while i think i'd be happier in a controlled, yeah, in a, you know, definitely in a controlled setting. And controlled, a, in a knows. controlled setting. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's also fun to do things recreationally, but I'm just saying it legitimately it's mm-hmm. used as a therapy and, you know, psychology. Yeah. yeah, I could do it through the VA. Yeah. I'd have to go to Tucson and, like you said, do a controlled thing. They do it there and you stay there when, they, you know. Then can you ask for some to take home with you too? No. Enough for enough for my friends in the Your car. Friends? No. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> we like, need to be really tempted. Controlled setting? Fuck you. Uh, controlled settings. Aren't you glad your kid did? I want an out of control setting. That's yeah. right. I'm not a controlled glad- setting kind of guy. Erickson, are you glad you didn't get a kid in, involved with veterinarian medicine? <laughs> like, hey, it's something uh, it just comes up around the office I'm all just wondering of the if you ever tranquilizers hear. home we'll just figure it out later son <laughs> yeah yeah equestrian get into the equestrian stuff there at the veterinary school <laughs> it's always amazing that there's like oh yeah it's horse tranquilizer it's like so this is a thing that would fucking knock a horse down <laughs> you know like holy fuck you're gonna yeah, take like what how did we skip past the what knocks a dog down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We jumped yeah, pretty quick. a little smaller. Yeah. What's the what do you, next what do you best thing? Put a hamster oh. out. Dog to a horse. I, I guess that's that. it, huh? That's a hell of a jump, but that's it, huh? It does go well. Like, what about sheep? Knock a sheep down. <laughs> <sighs> that's what we need. Sheep tranquilizer. I think they well, just I've got goats. Of the horse I thing. mean, what I, I could take yeah. my goat over to the vet and get some shit for him. How big of an animal do we need? Yeah. Tell your vet the goat's got anxiety and you need whatever you need some goat anxiety medicine. A couple of uh, small donkeys. <laughs> regular size. It was just a regular size mule. How about that? That's just a little smaller than a horse, though, Andy. You don't think you weigh the same as a mule, do you? Like one of them Death Valley ones. That you, are think, like uh, that you think animal. one of those burrows is going to fit into your medium uh, T-shirt? <laughs> your naked <No>. jack T-shirt? <laughs> Maybe in another year. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be out at the desert going, take four of these. They're for a pygmy goat, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I could put one on a donkey. I could, uh, you know, definitely use that in a marketing campaign. But I don't know uh-huh. how much, you know, to market. I don't think you'd get far trying to put a T-shirt. On a but donkey. if I could go to like, a, <laughs> if, if I could go to a place with goats, I could definitely, you know, put a small yeah. goat in a shirt, and that would maybe be what I needed to bump things. I'm sure that would be funny. <laughs> 
I think no, it would fit your small ones. Yeah, I don't see. I don't have a. I need farm animals around here. <laughs> God damn it! I let the chicken thing discourage me from having a farm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it, if if your if your chickens die on your way home, then it's going to be farm hard. supply. Yeah, it's going to be hard to justify going. Past. It's like. You know, if you have you buy a house plant and it dies, you shouldn't get a goldfish kind of thing. You know, I feel like after a dog, I could get like a goat and hang out with it. Uh, they go do their own thing, and you could still have the same affection or you know play with it or whatever. But then it would just eat briars and hang out out in the brush and shit. You wouldn't have to fucking. Do yeah, I think it. you got I think you'd want to get a couple goats so they can hang out with uh, each other. I, don't I think know. that's the the problem starts <laughs> back further. He thinks that when you it's buy a really boat true. and a dog, they'll be cool with each other until they have separate interests and then they go do their own things. And <laughs> Andy's not thinking about having to take care of these animals. It's just like they can be buddies. <laughs> and then well, at some I mean, point, they'll have develop interests that take them in different directions and then <laughs> just eat buyers. Well, the goat will feed the dog. Yeah. <laughs> That will be well, just job. once the dog is gone, you know, it'd be nice to have an interim animal that I didn't, you know, like a dog. She she wants to hang out and be, you know, around all the time. And the goat wouldn't, you know, I'd drive off and the goat wouldn't give two fucks about it. <laughs> right. Right. You uh, can put a goat in your yard. It'd be fun. Go to figure shit out. Uh, fun out there. Eat some grass and chew on some tin cans. And maybe that's just, I mean, fuck, you know, fuck shit up. I might be just in for a cardboard cutout of a dog at this, you know, <laughs> for the next thing as an interim. <sighs> She's too fat to hoist up in the car anymore and it breaks her heart. Oh, so, you know, doing more sativas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating, I don't go to McDonald's anymore. It wasn't. It wasn't me that wanted the food at McDonald's. It was my dog. <laughs> load her up. You can still swing through the drive-thru and grab a cheeseburger for your dog. Why not? Bring it Too home. Too tempting? Oh, well. It's like, you know, just don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not healthy food. It's like yeah, but your dog. You How like, old is your dog? You. She's 11. Yeah, I mean, that's she's she's done it you know <laughs> yeah i mean don't you, you used to take your dog everywhere i mean do you not mm -hmm. go out anymore like that that was a different dog yeah no, well i mean I, riley it? i never took to death valley because it's always she'd just go I, well the one time i took the dog to death mm -hmm. valley she went turned into a wolf i was <laughs> on drugs but she turned into a wolf and I had no control over her and I would just see her places and go, you'd be cool. I, you know, <laughs> I knew I wasn't really in charge of her. And that's why I haven't taken an animal back to Death Valley. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eating garbage, I remember that first year, you know, people were just like, there was just garbage uh, and the dog was just like eating in the eating stuff and i couldn't stop her right <laughs> i was feeble as she went primal on you uh-huh yeah i know i felt like it was like i mean it was real obvious to both of us that we were better off without each other at that point. <laughs> we reconfigured we reconfigured and made it you know afterwards but that at that time it was like we ain't it was never the other. same yeah <laughs> we're bad for each other <laughs> Oh my god! <clears throat> but yeah, that was uh, that was Sydney, Lady Sydney. Thanks yeah, I remember that dog. That was a good yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. She's in a jar out here. <laughs> 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 I know. I did get rid of her ashes for a while. I got her tin. I still have her tin. Good. <clears throat> yeah, she's a she was a, a fine animal. Nothing better than a good dog. Uh huh. Yeah. I went, so my brother Dave had an extra dog, but one of his dogs looked like it was going to die. I had I, I haven't been down there in a while. Uh, he's got an yeah. It's like, uh, but Larry, you know, Larry's dog dying. That was like his Larry and that dog were like Thelma and Louise. 
they were uh-huh. meant to die at the same time They'd drive off a <laughs> cliff together yeah that's what yeah that's what i always figured would happen like literally <laughs> like larry would drive off a cliff with maggie and, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. So that, so, you know last uh, week we were talking about uh um mortuary science and stuff uh-huh. and someone in the uh uh I can't, was it you know, it was on the patreon someone mentioned um sky burials and i and you can actually it's a it's a it's a thing that kind of a, a throwback to the old way of like returning the body to the to the earth and actually there's a state that allows sky burials and that's colorado certain counties oh, in colorado really? where, it's where the body is laid out like on, on the earth like just laying out there and it's what it first come first serve if the if the vultures get it or the or any oh really birds, or it just uh, oh. de- decomposes naturally it's it's uh yeah it's so wild. do you have to get in the program or you just get lost hiking <laughs> 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 yeah i guess you could do it indian style where you just uh-huh. become old and you walk out into the woods by yourself just and keep walking yeah, keep walking Freelance. I knew about Man, that in that Tibet. Shit. That's what they do. Uh, yeah, the monks do that. The Buddhists do it. And, and have- there's like a other uh, weirder cult of people that live up above. That the Mongolians do it too. Yeah, the, they help the buzzards clean up up there. And uh, here's a picture of one. It was weird. That's but they, but there's there's certain groups of people that are tasked with. Uh, oh yeah, I don't want to show you guys that. Dude, I would do a lot of hallucinogenics, like you know. Ooh. Be a, either way, when the vultures are picking at you, it's going to be a bad trip. <laughs> thing. <laughs> you would. Did we talk so, about those body farms last time when we talked about this? How about the, the way they're letting certain people be buried, like in like low impact, uh, like right. Can, yeah. right but, but, but did, tree roots and shit like that right but did we talk about how they have like you could uh donate yourself to those body farms where they mm-hmm. uh examine how just people how long it takes you to decompose like for detectives and stuff to examine uh really that. Have, we didn't talk uh, about that last week i think that's in tennessee isn't it uh, they have multiple ones i know but it's pretty interesting that they, wow. they'll put bodies in different circumstances uh and so that way detectives can have something to compare it to when right. they find bodies like covered up with like wet leaves yes. or pine needles as yes. opposed so to here's, here's, here's a member, body members only under jacket. a tarp in a fucking <laughs> under a, a pool right yeah this guy's in a members only jacket and some bell bottoms and he's in a <laughs> strip mall in a dumpster with a hustler he's been here since wait, 1987 wait, do a sawdust check we, we might be able to pinpoint exactly where he's from yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's, he's from Coos County, that's for sure. Uh, Look at the sure. teeth on him. <laughs> Look at the teeth. <laughs> Look at the spot where the teeth used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at the teeth. White. There's one. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah. Look uh, over there. There's one. I have fluoride and, and hard enamel, so they could. I threw them off a little, probably. <laughs> <laughs> So the body farm is in Tennessee, and the one I was just looking at, and uh, yeah, they have about fifty bodies there. And That's a, a real one. Civil War reenactment, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's another one called the Anthropology Research Facility that has 150 to 200. I think they should know more precise. Yeah. They should know precisely how many. Uh, you're gonna do uh, a farm. They lose them once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They, that's they, 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 sometimes they hide them too good. We had a dog show up on the lot. We didn't couldn't catch him. <laughs> they're, for a while. They're, they're following the work of Doctor Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> he was the guy who originally started laying them out in the garden. I don't know if he was original, but he definitely had a garden. So it's weird about this. Uh, these guys in uh, like Eurasia that that do these sky burials. Uh, they'll have. Um, the, the vultures will get to them. They'll lay the bodies out and the vultures will get to them until they, you know, you get them down to about here. But uh, they, then there's these group of people that are like pretty low on a caste system. They'll pulverize the bones and mix it with barley and stuff. 
Make and deer? Put it out there so the smaller birds can get it. And then oh. they actually benefit <laughs> from, the, you know, the, the minerals and stuff, as well as, you know, enticing them with the barley. But they won't go near it when the vultures are around. I mean, look at the fucking vultures are. <laughs> Those are scary <laughs> animals, man. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. They would get them around shit. here. I mean, they're probably everywhere, right? Yeah. People. Yeah, definitely. The, these uh, ones are, yeah, are uh, 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 specific to that region that yeah. are, are kind of a giant vulture. Uh, but uh, there's there's big vultures pretty much everywhere where there's dead shit. Bless their hearts for cleaning up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that matters. I don't, did anyone get a chance to look at the, the that one opening scene on gunpowder that I told you guys about last week? No. I haven't. I haven't watched anything. Yeah, I know you've been busy. That's really I gruesome. I stand by it too. It's fucking. Uh, I, I I was almost going to get to it. We were trying. To, we got kids unexpectedly. I got through half of uh, uh, that good omens that Erickson recommended. That was good. fucking hilarious. Thank you. Pretty for that. funny, right? Oh, it's hilarious. Those guys and are the best. Uh, such really a good. good story, and <laughs> those guys are hilarious They're together. Really good. Man. And the way, like, especially the way that David Tennant as the demon is depicted is just, I really get a kick out of him. He's well, and really it makes good. complete sense. Like, the, the the demon would be completely okay with being okay, uh, friends with the uh, uh, angel. Right. And the angel would be completely not okay with being friends with the demon. <laughs> so it makes perfect sense that they would have that contention the whole way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, yeah he feels know? guilty about it, but he does it yeah. anyway. Because he's an angel and he's nice. Yeah, yeah. He's one's fine nice. with it and one's not. So they're just fucking, eh, whatever, right? <laughs> and the demon wants to kind of just keep things going the way they're going because he's got kind of a pretty good lifestyle. And he doesn't want the apocalypse to happen because, you know, things are going great. He likes his life. So, no, it's great. Funny. yeah good i'm glad you're liking it shaley would probably hate it because it's good i've seen the episode no. it's all right all right so yeah so let's do our uh our recommendations then what have we guys been what have we been into this week i'll i'll, uh, I'll do mine because uh, i've only watched half of it and uh I'll do a half-assed recommendation because I'm not even sure it's fucking real. It can't be real. Mm-hmm. It's called Big River Man. <laughs> and oh, it's yeah, a documentary on YouTube. And it's about a guy who s- d- swims like all these gigantic rivers. He swims downstream river, but they make these outrageous claims that he swims 50 to 60 miles a day. And he drinks two uh, fucking bottles of wine a day while he, you know, swims. And uh, <laughs> uh, if he's swimming <laughs> down river too, you can swim a long ways if you gotta. It, it is true. He's swimming down river, and uh, but it, like it just shows him swimming through the Yangtze River, like it's just through filth, and he's like he's getting all uh. these diseases. And uh, it just seems unreal to me, but I don't know. Yeah. A lot of unreal shit happens. That's but right. At one point, though, they're, they're, he's, these women in the Amazon is what this documentary is about. And they they like present it. It seems tongue in cheek, I guess, but they're like, this his navigator, he's like, he's mad at me because I forgot the machete. And the narrator is like, his, his uh, navigator is a, a poker player by night, professional poker player by night. And it shows him playing poker around a table and uh, uh, like just in somebody's fucking garage or whatever and nowhere fancy. And then he goes and he works for uh, uh, Sam Walton during the day. And it shows him hauling Sam carts Walton. outside of Walmart and the fucking thing. That's funny. And, uh, it, and then it shows him on the boat. And he goes, he's all pissed off at me. I don't know how to use a uh, GPS. I'll learn, but I'm doing this for free. So he can't get mad at me. If he wants to spend <laughs> money for a, a, a professional navigator that he can, but he can't get mad at me. I'm doing the best I can. So, so I mean, it's, 
it's, it's like american funny, uh, movies, but i don't know so. if it's real yeah. yeah how do you navigate for a guy who's swimming a river are you just like i mean <laughs> you're just swimming downstream right like what uh yeah but he's swimming in dangerous polluted uh right easy waterways so what's the boat guy gonna do for you well, he's going to be next to you. I mean, just in case right. you got to hold on. Right. He's going to tell him where he's, if there's turns coming up or whatever. But I guess it was foggy and he was afraid. And he's like, he, I don't know what the fuck he wants me to tell him what to do. I can't see either. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just funny. And I, I guess it's this. real. I looked it up. You know, it seems like it's a real dude. He holds real, Guinness dude. records. Uh, so I, I guess it's real. It, wow. It's funny. All right. I'll watch that. Check yeah, and he, he's just this big tub of goo that jumps in the water. <laughs> give yeah. a shit. And it's, it's so <laughs> funny. It just reminds me of like those old guys that they would shoot a bowling ball in this the alley, you know? A like, perfect. Oh, yeah, ball. yeah. He's like Bert Kreischer. <laughs> a, you know, he just said a big Bert ball Kreischer's going to play him in the movie. Yes. <laughs> would have been a perfect time, Shaley, for you to show a picture of the uh, Shaley challenge. Oh, the cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> What's at the uh, yeah the, the cannonball the naked the uh-huh. naked can- yeah, yeah. Shaley cannonball it's one of the most classic I- iconic images of America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, the Nike. Uh, it's like an upside down. Uh, I'm about halfway through that movie and it's pretty fucking hilarious and I'm uh, enough that I will recommend it. All right, I'll I'm watch that. I've watched uh, ten minutes of it. Plus, I watched ten minutes or twenty minutes of the uh, the Grinch. Halloween thing. <laughs> and? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I thought Shaley's <laughs> internet gave out. It did. I think it did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know if it's a recommendation. I started watching The Vow, which is about Nexium, the, the uh-huh. religion of self-help and it's it's interesting but it se- seems like one of those that the man just get to the story it takes a while yeah, I think yeah. The, there's two there's two shows about the nexum nexium what however you say it cult and i think the vow was the worst one of the two as okay. i remember we yeah. gave up on the vow i think there's the the other one was a was a more interesting look at the yeah. busyness of that i don't remember yeah. what it was called I, I'm, but... it's, I, I'm i'm intrigued by it but it's like yeah damn it it's like two seasons now it's like just get, tell the goddamn story man yeah yeah I, I think i powered through it i i think in, in the end i i was like all right that's an interesting because i'd already seen the other ones so i already knew the story and then this was kind of like you know almost like a director's cut extra information kind of thing you Wish know i had a highest iq in the world <laughs> yeah they be all tatted up <laughs> yeah so uh so my recommendation isn't for a, a something on tv because i haven't been watching a lot of tv at all uh but i did you know i was at altercation fest this weekend and uh finally i had seen this before but the other time i saw this i was for sure blackout drunk because i i, I only thing I could remember was that I liked it, but I couldn't even in my head make an image of what I was looking at. So last night, closing out Altercation Fest, I got to watch the Heels play. You guys remember watching the Heels? Heels no. is a, uh, a two-piece band from Memphis, and uh, they are fantastic. It's comedian Josh McLean on drums and Brennan Whalen on guitar and vocals. And to me, they're like the Black Keys, if the Black Keys were more punk and maybe even a little bit cooler. Uh, They have a new album that just came out. It's called Pop Songs for a Dying Planet. And uh, God damn it, they are good. Uh Uh-huh, cool. I really, really enjoyed them. So if you're you're a music person, get yourself the New Heels record. And a hat. Get yourself a hat. Look at that. Uh Uh-huh. Pretty good. So. Girls in the band? There are no girls in that band. It's two boys. Uh, I'm looking at something else called the Heels, and it looks like do heels of it. Do heels or, or look up Heels Bob Memphis. Or you did. You probably did the Heels instead of Heels. Heels. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I get an album cover. That's it. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway. Well, they're uh, very good. Album it's, out and it's, it's very good. I got to hear it last night. And uh, man, oh, man, oh, man, is Josh McLean a good drummer. It's like that's it's one of those things where, you know, when you do that whole, you know, black keys, white stripes kind of thing where it's just a guitar and a drummer, you know, it, there's a lot of uh, focus like the white stripes did it. The point was that the drumming was very simple and that was the dichotomy with the brilliant guitar playing of Jack White. But with this, it's all it's, uh, you know, Brendan Whalen's a good guitar player and a great singer. But with Josh McLean on drums, it's almost like the opposite. It's like it's a vehicle for, you know, so that you can watch and listen to this absolutely stunningly brilliant drummer play. And uh, I fucking I really loved it. So heels pop songs for a dying planet. And uh, it is a dying planet. And, uh, you know, that's why you should enjoy it. Enjoy yourself while you're here by being a member of the Issues with Andy Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. And for that, uh, as the planet dies, you can get a little bit of joy and fun and entertainment and uh, and catch us on Patreon right there. We do this every week. Put it on YouTube. We put it on Patreon. We do stuff on Patreon that we don't do on YouTube. So uh, it's nice. Do that. And that'd, be, that'd be great. Anything else you guys want to say before we uh, get the uh, fuck out of here? All right. I guess That's not. It. All right. We love you guys. Uh, uh, thank you. We'll see you uh, right back here next week. Later.